Okay, let's get started with some questions from Patreon. Sandeep says, after listening to Mash and Santoki discuss the future of West Indies cricket, is it better if the individual nations that make up the West Indies go their own way and qualify as associates for T20s and benefit in the long run? Uh, I, I suppose it depends on how you look at it. There isn't a massive push within the West Indies for this. This is this is like one of those things you see like Twitter cricket fans go on and on about, but most people in the Caribbean, I haven't seen a genuine push to split up the West Indies. Um, partly because what would their best team be? Like, would they be good in any particular format? Um, I, I'm not sure that they would have a team that would regularly crack the top 10 um, on their own. You know, obviously Trinidad would be pretty good in T20. Barbados, well, at some stages Barbados was the uh, the test team, so that may be roughly the same, but it won't always be at that level. Jamaica have had some very good teams over the last couple of years um, and, and struggled at times. Guyana, probably on the back end of, of the associate teams um, at best again. I'm not sure what the benefit would be. They would have less money. Um, we would see their best players less in um, in, in the mainstream. Um, I, I don't I don't see what their positive spin on it is. Um, you you hear this all the time. I, I find it really weird. Like people say things along the lines of, um, "Oh, you know, we shouldn't have a team made up of all these um, multiple islands put together." Called the England and Wales Cricket Board. Um, we may call it the ECB, but kind of in the name. Uh, and when, when you look at uh, Ireland, of course, as well, it's, uh, it's uh, Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland playing in that, uh, playing as a cricket team. They do the same in rugby as well. Um, so I don't know. I don't have a problem with the West Indies going ahead. Look, I, I think they've, they're going to have problems. If they split up, they're going to have masses of problems. You're going to see smaller islands um, like, you know, Grenada and St. Kitts and St. Lucia, um, you know, um, I really struggle. Like, I wonder how cricket survives there outside of the way that it does in perhaps places like Bermuda. Um, maybe it actually helps in, if that happened, it would help in some ways. It would beef up the um, associate cricket um, standards. I mean, they're already really good, but, you know, adding maybe five teams who would rank between the 10th best and the 20th best team uh, in the world would actually, you know, would mean that we would have more balance all the way through. Um, and also, be, you know, for uh, you, you've got proper cricket infrastructures in, the, in those places to begin with. So it's not like other associate teams that sometimes get good before they have proper structures around them to really help them. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's mentioned a lot. I can't see how it's a huge advantage to cr cricket in that region if it happens. If we go down the, the route where international cricket is less and less important, which where we're going, um, from that perspective, I suppose you would say, well, they might as well play for their own countries. Um, but they do play for their own countries, of course, just in regional competitions, not internationally. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it, if it helps anything. Uh, it seems to bother some people that the West Indies is like that, but it doesn't seem to bother anyone that England and Wales um, are combined and that, uh, uh, that uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland are, are combined. So I'm not sure why the West Indies specifically bothers people more. Uh, there's lots of quirks of international sport and because of uh, because I, I mean this is a, it's a lovely one because in some ways the Caribbean is such a diverse place and has so many different uh, parts of it but they are sort of bound um, in, in you know in, in a couple of key ways and cricket is one of them and it would be a shame if that ever fell apart but you know if the islands themselves decide not to do it then that's more than fine I don't have any problem with that but usually this comes from uh, conversations on, on Twitter and Reddit, less so from the actual islands themselves, from what I can tell. 